Hey guys, welcome to my Christmas special and today we're going to make the first course. We're going to make a barbecued langoustine tartare with sweet and sour butternut squash, a vladivar sauce, a langoustine head oil and a beautiful butternut squash and orange cream. So, let's begin. First, the sweet and sour butternut squash. Mix 130 grams of water with 130 grams of white wine, 130 grams of white wine vinegar, 130 grams of sugar and 4 grams of salt. Then cut 40 grams of ginger in thin slices and do the same with a piece of lemongrass and 40 grams of galangal. Add all three to the saucepan with five lemon leaves and then bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn off the heat and let it cool down out of the fridge. After that, pass the sweet and sour through a fine sieve and then keep it in your fridge for later. Now take two butternut squashes and cut the necks off the bottom. Keep the bottoms for the cream. Then trim the sides of the tops. Once you've done that, slice the tops into thin slices on a sharp mandolin. Place the rounds in stacks on the cutting board and then cut them with a round cutter. These trimmings you can also keep for the cream or you can use them for any other recipe. Now cut the rounds in half. Then season some boiling water with salt and blanch the butternut squash for around 30 seconds till they feel softer but still have a good texture. After that directly cool them down in ice water. Let them cool down for 2 minutes before letting them dry on some kitchen paper. Now place them in the sweet and sour and let it marinate for 1 hour in your fridge. Then take them out and keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the butternut squash cream. Take the two bottoms from the sweet and sour and trim the sides. Then cut them in half and use a spoon to scrape out the seeds. Now cut them into even cubes. After, cut two shallots in half and clean them. Now chop them. Then melt 30 grams of butter in a big frying pan and glaze the shallots with 4 grams of salt. Once it starts to color, add the clean butternut squash and pan fry it for 5 minutes on a medium heat. Now deglaze the pan with 200 grams of vegetable broth and 100 grams of cream. Also add the zest from one orange. Then cut the orange in half and add the juice as well. Reduce it till almost all the liquid has evaporated. After, transfer it into a blender and blend it till smooth. Now add a knife tip of scented gum and a drizzle of white wine vinegar. Blend it for another minute. The scent and gum will prevent the cream from leaking once bladed and the vinegar will balance the heavy flavor. Keep the cream in your fridge for later. Now for the langoustine. Separate the heads from the tails and keep the heads and claws in your fridge for later to make the langoustine oil. Now press the tails to break the shells and then peel the shell off. Be gentle when pressing the tail so you only break the shell and don't damage the meat. Be sure you also remove the intestines and then keep the tails in your fridge for later. After that, take a Conroe grill or barbecue and light it up. I use Bintochan. This burns longer and hotter and doesn't spatter or flame when any fat or moisture falls on top. Then place a rack on top and barbecue all the heads and claws on both sides till golden brown. Really make sure to toast them all the way. This will give it a deep flavor. And now the obvious. I know I barbecue inside and I can because my ventilation system is specially built for it. When in doubt, just barbecue outside. The flavor is going to be the same. Now keep the heads aside for later. Then take the clean tails and skewer them with metal or soaked wooden skewers. Now barbecue them on the highest heat so to get a nice toasted flavor. But do it fast, so you keep them as raw as possible. I brushed a little bit of butter oil on top as well to give it a lovely rich flavor. Now if you don't have a barbecue, you can also use a blowtorch. Then cool them down as fast as possible. Once cold, remove the skewers and chop the langoustine tails into a tatar. Don't over chop them, because you want to keep a nice texture. Now season it with some lemon zest, olive oil and salt. Then keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the langoustine head oil. Transfer the barbecued heads one by one into a turning stand mixer that's fitted with a flat beater and crush the heads till it's a fine crumble. Now transfer it into a frying pan and add 500 grams of a neutral oil. I use sunflower oil. Then let it simmer for 30 minutes on a low heat. After that turn off the heat and let it cool down out of the fridge. Let this cool down for at least one hour and then let the oil drain on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper. Let it drain in your fridge. Now for the vadovoir sauce. First cut 4 shallots in half and clean them. Now chop them. In total you'll need 300 grams. Then melt 40 grams of butter in a big frying pan and glaze 30 grams of fresh vadovoir or 6 grams of dried vadovoir for 5 minutes. I use fresh. Then add the shallots and pan fry them for around 5 minutes. Meanwhile clean 2 cloves of garlic and chop them. 
Add it to the pan as well and pan fry it for another 2 minutes and then deglaze the pan with 250 grams of white port. Let this reduce till almost all the liquid has evaporated. After, add 500 grams of vegetable broth and 500 grams of cream. Let it simmer till it has reduced for around 30%. Once it has reduced, pass the sauce through a fine sieve and then emulsify it with a hand blender. Now we can start to finish the dish. First, take the sweet and sour butternut squash and form them into a circle. Then use a tweezer or the back of a spoon to tidy up the shape. Now drizzle some butternut squash cream on the bottom and fill it all the way with the langoustine tatar. Then pipe a couple dots of the cream on top as well and decorate it with toasted pumpkin seeds and purple sorrel leaves. All the components are at room temperature, only the sauce is hot. Now mix the sauce with the langoustine oil and gently mix it. Then serve the dish and finish it with a couple tablespoons of the Vaudovan and langoustine oil sauce. Okay guys, that's it for today. I am super happy with the dish. It looks absolutely incredible, especially the butternut squash around the langoustine tatar. It looks incredible. And this sauce, yeah, it's to die for. I also love to make Vaudovan oil. And if you make the oil from the Vaudovan, just bring it to a simmer and then let it marinate for a couple of hours, uh, at least two or three hours. Then you get a beautiful golden yellow oil as well. And that's perfect to uh, finish hollandaise or finish the beurre blanc and that's so good. If you do beurre blanc, make it with butter, obviously. But like this sauce, the color is incredible. And then that langoustine had the oil on top. I think it's gonna be a perfect combination. Already had way too much of the sauce and it's so good. Um, the only thing I have to say, uh, because I always get a lot of comments on it, if you do barbecue inside, make sure the whole ventilation system is on point. It really needs to be on point. Otherwise, just do it outside. That's totally fine as well. There's no difference. The only reason I do it inside is because I can, because my ventilation system it's really good and it's also not a circulation so the air is going straight outside and it's uh, semi-professional so I just put it on boost and then it's capable of doing it. If you want to do it inside and you're doubting if your ventilation system is strong enough then I just wouldn't do it. Just do it outside. Um, if it's raining take an umbrella I don't know but then it should be fine as well and you really get a lovely result. If you don't have a barbecue, you can use a blowtorch to just add some um, some heat to the langoustine, some, some smokiness and the hats as well. Just to torch them a bit, just give them a little bit of flavor and then it's still going to be very, very good. Let's just dig in because I can't wait. Yeah, okay. Honestly, this is so fucking delicious. It has so much flavor. You have the langoustine with the bit of the smokiness. You have the texture from the butternut squash because you just blanch it for a couple of seconds and then it still has some texture. It becomes sweet and sour, so it's fresh. The little orange notes in between, the smokiness, the delicious sauce that binds everything together. There's a lot going on, but it all fits perfectly. So spot on. If you want, I think if I have to pick one dish for Christmas, I don't know, this is only the beginning of the Christmas videos, but so far, definitely this one, because this one is so good. I'm not gonna say the F word once more, because then YouTube might blend me, but that's just what I think. Um, so guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see after the Christmas videos. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Let me know in the comments if you have any Christmas questions as well. And other than that, I hope to see you for the next one. Like, share, and please subscribe if you want to support my channel. And as always, bon appetit.